I'm Dennis Parker. I'm, I'm a medical physicist. I've been doing research in medical imaging for 30 some odd years. Uh, I've been at the U University of Utah since 1982, so I've done a lot of research in a lot of different areas. Uh, but most recently, a major part of our work has been uh, devoted towards focused ultrasound. Our, our history goes back to about 2004, 2005. We, uh, we started doing image-guided uh, focused ultrasound. Uh, we, had a, we actually had a grant in 2003 when we bought our first Siemens MRI scanner. And because the Siemens MRI scanner was very open, and you know, as far as its uh, software architecture, our students were able to very, very quickly establish a closed feedback loop feeding images out of the scanner into the ultrasound controlling computer that we had at the time and developing this closed loop uh, MRI guided focused ultrasound system. And when Siemens came to visit uh, in 2004, I guess it was, to review the research that we were doing, they actually uh, decided to pick up that project and they, they provide some provided some funding, and image-guided therapy just happened to be available with a uh, design of a phased array system. They actually purchased that device and placed it in Utah as, as IGT's first uh, basically large animal focused ultrasound system. And ever since that time, we've been working with them. The main focus of the team is, is uh, basically a, a feedback-controlled system and we decided five years ago that the breast would be an ideal uh, candidate site for doing this type of a treatment. So, so the system the system is uh, is is a cylinder. It's a, the woman lays prone on this cylinder. There's a, a relatively comfortable table. It, it has a lot of capabilities that don't exist in other uh, breast hyphu systems. There's our shoots laterally. Uh, it uh, has a very small water box that uh, the breast is suspended into with a, something to pull tension on it. And, uh, and then uh, uh, it's designed so that it has uh, an array of radio frequency coils that are placed all the way around it so that the image quality uh, from the MR side is actually very, very good. It took us a while to figure out what might work and Plasti dip worked beautifully, and so it's a very flexible bellows. It allows the transducer to go inside the cylinder and outside the cylinder, so you can position it uh, wherever you need to in order to uh, to uh, attain the target that you want to attain. Uh, and uh, and then the rest of the system is a is an MR compatible ultrasound generator that's made by our collaborators and their uh, image guided therapy in Bordeaux, France. Uh, and then, of course, Siemens is our is the uh, MRI scanner, and and they've been very helpful in just the uh, radio frequency uh, system, and also in the uh, temperature. They've helped with uh, temperature imaging pulse sequences. We've developed primarily our own uh, that we're using, but uh, but it is this three-way collaboration. We've tested it on phantoms and and other samples. So, from a standpoint of uh, something that could ultimately be used to treat breast cancer. I think this is, uh, this is an excellent uh, uh, potential device. And of course, the advantage of HIFU for breast cancer is that it's very, uh, uh, it's totally non-invasive. Uh, it has the opportunity eventually to totally eradicate the, the disease without any surgical intervention at all. But of course, that's going to take time to get the confidence that you've really eradicated the disease. There are many problems that still need to be solved. Uh, measuring temperature in fat, we've, you know, which is a major component of breast tissue, uh, has not been solved yet by others. We've got, we've got a, a, a good technique that is starting to work, and we're optimistic that with all these little pieces, it'll be a good system. Based on building this first device, there are some things that we know we need to do to improve it. Uh, We'll be seeking funding to build a uh, slightly modified uh, modification to it, and uh, that should improve the even improve the image quality even more, and and uh, 
treat more aspects of, of breast disease. And I think it has a great potential, and, and we, we have, uh, you know, the application for patent has been made, so we'll just see where we are. <laughs>